I think it's probably fair to say that Carol's pretty much as close to my hero as, as that is possible. Uh, I met Carol for the first time about eight years ago, eight and a half years ago, uh, in the context of a selection committee for, for the job that I have today, so uh, that worked out quite well. I always think I'm quite driven in my research because I really enjoy it. So for me, I don't really see it as a job, I see it as a passion and uh, something that I'm fascinated by. I'm very interested in mass spectrometry and its applications to biomedical research. One of the cool techniques with the mass spec is that you can observe the small molecule binding and Carol has already proven that you know it is possible. You can see small molecule binding to uh, starting from soluble protein to membrane protein or even to bigger complexes. Our work in Professor Carol Robinson's laboratory is focused on how to deal with antibiotic resistance and GPCR and mass spectrometry instrumentation development. One of my most significant breakthroughs was our discovery that we could take membrane proteins and put them into the gas phase of a mass spectrometer and that they would stay intact. And this had really profound consequences for ATP synthases. And then I also started reading about P-type ATPases, and these had been really intensely studied at Aarhus, so I became very interested in the research that was going on here. My research looks at molecules in the gas phase. Now you might think, why would you do that? Because we're all used to looking at things in solution and in water or in cellular environments. And now you're going to put them up into the atmosphere inside a mass spectrometer. What would you expect to learn from that? But actually, if you think about it, if you're running through a swimming pool, it's quite hard because there's water resistance. If you're running through the air, it's much easier. So this whole freedom of movement you can have from going through the gas phase of a mass spectrometer. And you can learn something about the expression of the molecules as they're on this particular flight. With our future collaborations, we're really hoping to understand the role of lipids in P-type ATPases, because as you know, lipids really do control a lot of the function of these membrane proteins. And we believe we've got a really unique way of looking at these. And now hopefully we can start collaborating more with our Hoos and building a team uh, in Denmark as well as in Oxford to collaborate and solve problems together. Professor Carl Robinson is truly a remarkable scientist in the field of chemistry and chemical biology. Carl Robinson has never chosen the easy way. Rather, she did it her way, both in terms of her career and in her scientific achievements. So you have pushed the limits of mass spectrometry to study macromolecules as free independent species. This has led to new discoveries that are extremely interesting, both in academia and in more applied chemical and biological and medical research areas. One of your inventions has been to use mass spectrometry to study membrane proteins, including several of special interest to Denmark, and in particular, researchers at Aarhus University. This includes some of the so-called membrane pumps, known as ATP ACEs, that belongs to the same family as those discovered by Nobel laureate Jens Christian Skov. Most recently, you have been involved in a joint project with Aarhus University in collaboration with Novo Nordisk to explore potentials for treatment of diabetes. In this way, you have developed new approaches and initiatives that may become of key importance to a proud research, research tradition at Aarhus University. So, dear Carol, on this background, it's a pleasure to confirm upon you the degree Dr. Skian Charum Honoris Causa at Aarhus University. <laughs>